Today in the International Security Subcourse, we're discussing deterrence theory, specifically the concepts of deterrence and compellence and how they relate within the international system. Uh, I think if we go all the way back to Sun Tzu, he made the point that supreme excellence doesn't come in winning every battle that we fight, but rather supreme excellence is found in breaking the resistance of the enemy without fighting. There's a lot of reasons for this, but in a fiscally constrained environment, we find that any place we apply military resources may have an impact in other areas. And so if we are able to deter through non-military activity uh, states from either doing something, that would be deterrence, or compel them to either stop doing something or do something we want them to do, uh, we find that we are able to maximize our resources in the military sphere. It helps make warfighters more effective because they have the resources they need to fight and win our nation's war should deterrence fail.